kept in the laboratory of Dr. Alexander Fleming, a British bacteriologist. For a number of years, Fleming being a drug that would destroy types of bacteria that cause infection. Just now, he was growing a number of colonies of these infectious bacteria for his experiments. Scientists call these growths bacterial cultures. This day, he found that one of his bacterial cultures had become polluted. A spot of mold had developed in the dish, spoiling the culture. Dr. Fleming was about to throw the polluted dish away when something stopped him. He noticed that around the mold, there was a ring of clear jelly, free of bacteria. Examining the jelly more closely, he began to wonder if something in the mold was killing the bacteria. Was it possible that here was a substance that could be... This was a question worth investigating. I say, gentlemen. Here's something interesting. Take a look at this dish. Of this? Oh, yes. It's got a bit moldy, hasn't it? That's too bad. But after all, it happened to him. No, take a closer look. You what? notice anything odd? Why? Why, you see that ring? Why, why, yes. It's clear, isn't it? Right. I'd say uh, something in that mold is destroying these stops in that dish. Well, that is interesting. What do you make of it? I don't know. I think it's worth looking into. It looks good. Very good. Well, I say, do you think perhaps there's something there we ought to follow up? And perhaps. And perhaps, gentlemen, we've got a drug that will destroy infectious bacteria. And before we know, we've got work to do. Come here. Dr. Fleming and his assistants undertook a number of experiments to test his idea that the mold might be a weapon against disease. First, they introduced the mold-infested broth into other cultures of bacteria. Later, they found that in many of these cultures, too, the bacteria were destroyed. But Dr. Fleming wondered if it killed bacteria, might it not also be harmful to living tissues? To determine this, they injected the drug into animals. They found that the animals were not harmed by the drug. Then, mixing it with human blood, Dr. Fleming determined that it did not harm the germ-killing cells in the bloodstream. Dr. Fleming reached the conclusion that he had found a drug that would destroy bacteria and that, some evidence indicated, would not harm human tissues. He published a paper describing his experiments. But this was only the beginning. Ten years later, another British scientist, Dr. Howard Florey, conducted a number of experiments to verify Fleming's findings. And then, along with other scientists, developed penicillin as a drug of amazing power against disease. 